here we are on TV. <laughs> once again, once it ever did, turn on the machines and live forever. It's Friday and we're making it back here all the way around. Looping, swooping. But, you know, I think I'm not. Uh, <laughs> just spook, spooking, drooping, 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 rhyming. Uh, here we are on Friday, and who would have thought? It's my father's birthday. And it's March, yeah, it's like March 5th, so. Shout outs. It's not Father's Day, I guess. One of his Father's Day. Some other time. But it is uh, March 5th. Baby bird. Bird, when it's a baby. That's on the calendar. Baby bird's coming up. I'm coming up. I want the world to know. Uh, what happens on Fridays? You can call the number up there at 360-336-4384. Call and leave a message. Get yourself on TV. I'm eating this breakfast. Uh, made the same thing I always eat. Except for this kraut. Sour kraut. Pretty good. It's new. New one. Trying the new batch. It tastes good. Meat, mixed vegetables, spinach, rice, and this kraut. Yesterday, on Thursday, I did the program. Uh, about one o'clock. We were talking to Andrew and Ray, others. After the program, I went to work and uh, that was about the same kind of thing. Nothing new there, really. Just trying to think of what I saw on my way out. Um, I got the first vaccine on two Wednesday. So it's Friday, so that's Wednesday and then Thursday and then Friday. Today's the third day, and my bandaid is still on there, and oh, my arm is less sore than the other day than yesterday so that's probably good um I don't know when I'm going to take that bandaid off at some point I guess I have to or it's going to fall off I'm kind of waiting for it to fall off but man these doctor's band-aids what kind of band-aids are they getting because I must be getting some crappy band-aids I didn't seem to fall off in a day. These ones are still there. Maybe they know how to apply them. I hope they got some kind of extra strength bandage, doctor bandage. A little bit less sore than before. Um, you can call the number up there. 360 you can go on to the, uh, or you can go on to com and get on the meat, on the, on the, the video phone, they call it there. Here's the sound of me getting on there, because it gets bong. Nobody's waiting. Sometimes people are waiting to get in here. I don't know if Yellowfellow left a message. He's been leaving messages pretty consistently. We'll see today. If anybody else, you can leave messages too. You'd be like Yellowfellow. 
leave uh, long messages and we can be corresponding through voicemails. Which is kind of fun to me, it's fun. And the LFL did not call. We did get some Google Pay notice to changing. I wanted to tell you that we're going to change this thing. Google. I'm not going to read that. You're going to tell me about it later. Um, yo, fella, where are you? You didn't leave another message from last night to today. You're, uh, you're falling behind. Maybe I'm going to call you anyway. And leave you a message out there in Philly. Or, you know, greater Philly area. Google subscriber you have called is not available. Please leave a message after the tone. Hello, y'all, Paul. Vernacular. Uh oh. How much can you hear me? You didn't leave a voicemail. You've been leaving those long voicemails for uh, days. And now, where is it? So I know I'm, I'm looking for it. Uh, they're good. They're long. You should leave them long. That's what I'm doing to you. That's what everybody should be doing. If I got, uh, I mean, let's see, three minutes, the three minutes, 20. If I got, which was quite a few people, but really three minutes, 20 people who leave three minute messages a day, I'll be the whole thing. If I got 10 people to leave three minute messages, and then I left a three-minute message response to them. That could be the entire program every day. Would just be messages. So let's get maybe start getting people to leave more messages. But you know, in my experience, people don't do anything. I found a lot of experience with this in the past of people not participating. So. And we had like the science fair and the cook-off. I mean, this was years ago now. And, uh, you know, time's moving forward. And I stopped doing anything else other than just like the straightforward, regular program. Usually in other years, I guess, we've had events and stuff. But this year, no events because I'm not going anywhere. But usually we have at least like four or five events. And I guess that's the same thing with life, too. Usually we have four or five at least events remember your time by but now I actually am remembering this last year by kind of lack of events almost I'm like what didn't I do on Halloween what didn't I do on the Crimson County Awards that we down here but what didn't I do when the touring band was going to come here all the things we didn't do instead of did do so what didn't you do call back here Awesome. I almost missed that sneeze. I was coming out like, come on, sneeze. I could feel them coming. I almost lost it, which was, that's a really awful feeling. So I'm like trying to get it through. Like, oh, here it comes. Can you get the sneeze coming out? Never lost the sneeze. Not good. Goodbye. I 
And today's Friday, tomorrow Saturday, Andrew's gonna be in the. Hello. Hello, Andrew. It's the program on TV. How you doing? Good. How you doing? It's Friday. Friday. What are you What are you doing? Watching TV. Yeah. What are you what, doing? What's on TV? This guy's uh, cooking at his restaurant for 24 hours straight. His old restaurant. His own restaurant? This, this, guy, this guy's got a cooking channel on YouTube, and then he went back to his restaurant he used to work at, and he's, and he's cooking there for 24 hours. Is he tired? I don't know yet. He's only in, like, hour six or something. Are they wearing masks? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. It's weird to see the masks on TV. Mm -hmm. Um, that's, uh, that's a long time. I think, you know, eight or nine hours, that's not uncommon. Mm -hmm. But uh, after that, then you want to sleep. Yeah. Can't even sleep, let alone stay up. So how long is the video? 17 minutes. Condensed 17 minutes into 24 hours is less than a minute and an hour. I guess. I'm going to stay up late. Don't show every second of the minute. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we do here on the program. Every second, and challenges really? they do they do short challenges put into long term thing. Yep. With lots of editing. Um, I'm eating breakfast. I mean the same thing that I always eat. I made sauerkraut still. It's good. Boom. Tastes like kimchi. What are you eating? I made the same thing, but then I put the sauerkraut that I made. Me and my roommate made it. Uh huh. You just put the 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 cabbage, and then you put salt in it. You squeeze it, put it in the jar. That's it. That sounds pretty good. And then you wait. And it tastes like sauerkraut. Tastes like tastes like kimchi to me, more than sauerkraut. But it's pretty much the same thing. Just salt? Is it really salty? Yeah, it's pretty salty. It's like more salty than other stuff, but I just put it with the food, and then it, I don't. I just put less salt in the food. Uh huh. Probably a little bit too salty. Yeah. But then I uh, cut it with the food, so then it's good. Mm -hmm. If uh, you have it uh, more salty, it's less likely to get shitty, right? Yeah, I think so. It's got like. One division. I watched it all. It ended. You know, when things end, it's like never, never satisfying. Yep. You know, like, everything's it's so exciting when you're watching the show, and then <laughs> when it's over, it's just like, um, yeah, you're just like, oh, okay. Didn't happen. Yeah, nothing happened. They're moving forward with it. Uh, they're doing the 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 world the world building more. Mm -hmm. Now they're gonna do the next series. Like, I thought Multiverse of Madness was gonna be a TV show, also, but it's not. No, that one's gonna be a movie, but they're pretty much setting that movie up. Whenever that movie's coming out, probably pretty soon. I heard they already shot it. Yeah, something like that. I bet Elizabeth Olsen is in England right now shooting something. Yeah, I saw that too. Did you see, like, it was like Brad makes, um, what was oh, it? Oh, yeah. Cheese? Brad eats cheese? I watched it, yeah. I watched a little bit of it. I turned it off. Yeah, it's not like, very good. I was like, Brad, you're getting, you're, uh, Borderline racist now. <laughs> like, sorry, Brad. You're a borderline white Uncle Tom, uh, Brad Leone. Yeah. That's too bad. Yeah, I guess he's Italian. <laughs> hey, Leone. Oh, man. Could be Mario's last name. <laughs> yeah, Mario? Oh, he's, I guess he's an Uncle Tom. That's not quite a racist. That's like almost a racist, but like, yeah. 
Is he though? You might not be a race. Well, while he's uh, supporting a company that everybody else quit because they were uh, cancelled, and then he stayed on there. <laughs> everybody else quit. Well, I, guess, I guess that makes him an Uncle Tom. <laughs> yeah, bo at least borderline Uncle Tom. Uh, 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 uh. Can't deny that. You can add that to anything, and then you say, come on, you're not even going to say that? You're not even going to say borderline? You're like, ah, oh, I guess I'm on the edge of it. <laughs> he didn't jump ship with everybody else. He could have he could have had the same show under different production, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That's what Claire did. I watched that Claire show, too. Yeah, Claire had a backbone. Yeah, and, and Claire's doing, um, like... Dessert person. Yeah, I saw that. It's like, it's like not. I mean, I don't think she wanted to. Like, so now, now she's just like making the food in her home and like, having her own channel and getting the money huh. from that. Like, Solo really did it. Cause she's got a show on the History Channel now. Oh yeah. Yeah, but it's the YouTube channel, History Channel. But it's still, <laughs> it's like what? the History Channel's own YouTube. What kind of history is it? She's called, I don't know what it's called, but she's making the earliest versions of popular food. <laughs> the history of food. Old food. Old food. Huh. I haven't seen that one yet. That hasn't, I don't know why the, 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 the YouTube hasn't fed me that show yet. Maybe the algorithm, algorithm doesn't like it or something. I'm watching all the I'm watching all the food shows. How did you find it? Did YouTube fed it to you? Yeah. Hmm. When today? A couple of days ago. Uh YouTube let me down. I gotta watch more reaction videos or whatever to uh WandaVision. Those are really good. Yeah, and I know now I'm doing like this this new way, I've been doing it for a year where it's basically like a YouTube show. Where I'm like pretty big in the frame and it's like basically looks like a webcam. Like, I yeah. was thinking about play I was thinking about switching over to, and like re doing like reviews and food and like maybe even playing Mario 64. You can do whatever you want, but you only have a few pe like five people watching. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I was thinking about play put, put, hooking up Mario 64 and playing Mario 64 while I do this thing. Like yeah, three thousand hours of preparation to make your YouTube channel. Yeah, I could do a, a, a Mario 64 in the corner while I'm going, but I don't know. People talk and play that game at the same time. I don't know if I'll be able to do that, but I have to get a headset mic and go full on. But then I'd be like really, de like really deciding that I'm I'm here in the basement. But I guess I, cause I kind of thought that this was gonna be temporary. For, I mean, a while ago, but now I'm almost gonna be vaccinated, so maybe I might be going back to the studio and then going back to do studio stuff. But I don't know, sure. So. You should combine. You should combine the two somehow. Yeah, probably. Might be going back to the studio. I don't know how I'm gonna feel after I get the uh, fully vaccinated. If I'm gonna want to go back out into the world, how, how are you feeling? How's your arm? It's fine. Not yesterday it was kind of sore, but yeah. it's fine today. Totally fine. I still feel it a little bit. Like it's fine. right at the spot. Do you feel it at the spot? Yeah. Still a little tender. Uh huh. Um, did you tell your work to try to get it off for the day when you get that second one? Cause you. No. You might want to do that ahead of time. That's what I did. Cause I don't take those days off. Cause I heard you can get messed up from it. Yeah, I think I might do that. Yeah. Well, you should do that ASAP, probably. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it could happen. I don't know. It's gonna make a difference. I'm gonna go back out in the world, or I'm, I'm maybe I'm uh, uh, maybe I don't go anywhere anymore. You don't have a car. Yeah. Well, I mean, you drive me around though. If I want to get fully vaccinated. I say, go fuck yourself. Buy a car. Yeah. Maybe I'll go buy a car. I will not do that. You gotta go buy it. You gotta get. It. You gotta be a man. Be a man. Man's buy. Men buy cars. Yeah. Um, no, <laughs> I'm gonna uh uh maybe I'll get back on the bus. That's what I was doing before. Mm-hmm. Like 
the bus is still running and it seems like the people are still on the bus. Like when I was going to get the vaccine, we went by the bus station. I haven't seen the bus station in a long time, but the bus station looks like it did before anyway. They're building on it though, aren't they making it bigger? Yeah, I mean the physical bus station looks different. They've painted it and they built that thing behind it and stuff, but um, the, the culture of the bus station looks exactly the same. People are hanging out, waiting for the bus, just chilling, talking to each other. Some people are being weird. It's like the same thing as it used to be. Oh, yeah. But, uh, so maybe I'll I wonder, back. What, uh, I wonder how the hobos keep the COVID under control. That is not. Well, I guess they're outside most of the time. Mm hmm. I miss them. I used to hang out, I mean, I hang out with them. I used to interact with them like almost every day. Yeah. You know, ask, me, ask me for money or yell at me and stuff. I haven't seen them. I don't know what they're doing. They're horrible. They smell. Get them out of town. They smell. I've never had a problem with the smell. I can't really smell. I mean, they're outside. It's like, can you smell them? They're like, oh, it smells. Well, it's because they made the whole downtown Olympia smell. Really? So if you live there, you don't smell it. Yes. If you don't live there, you don't smell it anymore. I mean, I don't live there right now. I don't think. Well, maybe I'll smell it now, huh? Maybe that might have been it. I don't know. But when when they took over like the whole parking lot, like I think the bus station had like a. I think it smelled bad. I remember. Hmm. Maybe I was always smelling like the bus. I didn't even know. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't, I never re realized there was a smell, but the studio was like right would be in the smell zone. Mm, no, I was thinking like right by the right by the bus station. I think I want to say. What about the studio itself? Though I mean, it's only. It's like just if like one hobo on the street doesn't smell. I'm saying when they had they had that whole parking lot they took over for a while. Yeah, I used to live like a block away from that though when I lived above the fourth that bar there. I could have sworn it smelled. Maybe it didn't, but I could have sworn it did. <laughs> I could have sworn there was a smell. I didn't smell anything. Uh huh. Um. We'll, we'll never know. What did you eat for breakfast? Nothing yet. So when did you wake up? Did you just wake up? Uh huh. You just wake up and turn on the TV, huh? Uh, yep. I always make it an effort to get out of bed and eat something before I start watching TV. That's good. Because if you, if I, otherwise, I just like won't get out of bed. You yeah. wake up, turn on the TV, and then you're like, oh, now I'm watching TV. And then it's like 4 o'clock, and then you're like, oh, no. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I, I'm almost eating breakfast. Like, right when you wake up, I'm not that hungry, but you just put food in yourself. It's good for you, I think. Yeah. Unless I'm getting fat. They might be getting fat. You getting fat again? Yeah. I was losing a lot of weight uh, earlier, but now it's coming back. I'm getting fat. Do uh, push-ups. Yeah, I haven't been doing any push-ups. I've been riding my bike. Okay. Why, are you doing push-ups? No. Yeah, no exercise, huh? Well, you do have to pick up the boxes, huh? Yeah, that's my exercise. Um, okay, bye. Bye. Andrew, on the phone. Ready the producer now. You've reached Freddie Dobler. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave me a nice message, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. The mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages at uh -oh, this time. Uh-oh, probably have filled up your uh, voicemail box. I don't want to leave you a message. 
But uh, I'm going to have to leave you like a spiritual voicemail on the thing if you watch it in the future. It'll be the same as any other one. I guess this whole thing could be a voicemail to anybody. So what's the difference to what I'm saying and like the timing? So I don't know. I don't know what the difference is, right? Look at this. Hey. The program. Yeah, it's the yeah. program. Uh, hey. Hey. Hey, 2017 is us, or hey. 2017. Uh, we got popcorn. Hey, 2018. We got interns. Hey. Bell is here. I'm here. I'm We've intern. got it all. Hey. Bell, 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 Bell. Bell. Let's talk hey. about all kinds of things. We non-stop. Like, uh, We're bringing um, back McDonald's. Uh, Woo! Bell's the intern. Uh, In the I'm clips. Hello. Yeah. Every night. 11.30 a.m. 2 a.m. How high. did the clips go? You, you know, when you're 2018. Bye. Look at this. If Carl shows up, Kenny or Freddy shows up, then freaking Carl and Kenny. La, 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 la. Yeah, Carl like didn't show up. Carl shows up about 40 minutes in. Mr. Ginsu was on the phone for a long time. We haven't talked to you in a while. Yeah, yeah, I'm about ready to go to bed. Hey, it's 7.13. Yeah, deuces to that, bro. You got to wake up at 4 a.m. Carl's got Mountain Dew. He's accusing, uh, uh I, I accused him of something, and then after that I get accused of the same thing because, like, after <laughs> I get trying to flip it on me. It's yeah, all about flipping. I guess. 11.30 and 2 a.m. on Tuesday Channel 22. You gotta watch yourself. You can't check yourself up. I'm reaching for Donald Trump. Flipping. I don't know. Bye. 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 It's all about flipping. Alright, let's get on this message of the future. Put a shot of police. Put a shot of Put a bad, bad, bad. Well, if the tape's up here, that usually means that it's queued, but probably a better cue to do it that way. It's like right after we recorded, but then you don't know. You never know. Got to check. Tried to learn my lesson from a long time ago. Except these things. My future, do you have your arm still? What's the alternative? Is it fell off? Arm did not fall off. Hey, future, it's us, the past. It's Friday. We talked to Andrew on the phone for a long time. Talking about, you know, still cancel culture and uh, exercise or even that sauerkraut. Arm is mostly better. It's still slightly sore at the site. Having like, some kind of ghost stuff up there. Um, Dad's birthday. Are you doing that again? You alive? You make it? Your arm fall off? You make it to the second one? Okay, bye future. All right, let's take a look at some of these. Friday, we're going to go to, uh, well, we're still not two weeks into the year, not even one week. So today is 26th, we're going to go to the 19th. Uh, Friday the 19th of uh, February. Now it's March. Spring is in two weeks and a day. We're going to start saying hi to the spring if we're going to be there. Daylight saving time is actually before spring in the fall. So they're both like fall. Uh, like They're both in the fall. Or maybe the first one's in the winter. It's like beginning of winter, for go forward. Spring, the end of fall, 
fall back, spring forward, whatever those numbers are. So, the the it's the that idiom, idiot, idiot. They should call it idiots. Is that an idiom? More like idiots. Uh, what would we say the seventeenth? Should we go three weeks? Is that crazy? Kind of want to. Is that like uh? Wait, what, the 19th? Did I? Oh, yeah, 19th. Should we go to the 12th? Is that too far? Three weeks? Is that crazy? I guess I'm doing it. Fifteen. Fourteen, thirteen, eleven, that's the 12th. Going into Valentine's Day. Oh, and the baby, so it was the last day of the baby anyway. Hey, future. It's us, the past. Hello, future. It's snowing here in the past. Look at all that snow. You know, if your car door uh, is frozen, Locked, pour some warm water on it and try that out. Yeah, That's what we're talking get a about. View of the snow. Don't get... Oh yeah. You know, turn into the slide. All kinds of things like that. It's Friday, bye future. <laughs> bye. Look, extra messes of future as a baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he'll watch this someday for his first time on the TV. It's Will Hammer. Will Hammer. Television person. Uh, John Webster was talking on a Friday. Maybe we should call him. Hey, future. It's us, the past. Hey, future. Did we survive the snowpocalypse? It's snowing and it can't get out anywhere. Did Kenny get any beef? I did. I'm still eating. Yeah. <laughs> the tape became uncued. It's uh, Saturday. I, I should put it on the calendar when I got the food. Hey, future, it's the past. What well, do you have to say to the future? What happened to the future? Is it still here? Is it gone? Is there a future? It's Sunday. Oh, yeah. It's getting dark. Uh, Talking about food, you gotta maybe you're hangry, Andrew. Okay, bye, future. Uh, hey, future, that's the past. Hello, future. I need money by my underwear. I'm fired. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but he's yeah, you're you're, uh, you're going against it. Maybe you'll, you'll get it back. Yeah, No, it's nothing. Hey, James. New direction, yeah. One, one direction. Five I don't, I don't, future. I don't, I don't <laughs> Five future. Hey, future, the path. Hey, future. Uh, fuck the virus. Yeah, look out. How's Mario Three land? Andrew's out know, the freezer. I look like I got a ghoul. I look like a ghoul. Bye, future. Oh, cool. What's up? Hey, future. It's future. us, the past. Cool, you know. Hi, it's us, the past. What's up, future? It's me, the past. It's I'm going to move to Portland. Really? You're going to move to Portland? Mm-hmm. With how? With how? What's that? I'm going to live gonna with drive? a nice, nice family who's going to take me in. Bye, future. Bye, future. Get some crispy edges on those hot dogs. <laughs> um, I haven't had a hot dog in a long time. I guess it's still a hot dog. Hot dog is like the food, like you're eating the food. <laughs> it's still a hot, hot dog. dog talk. 
that was yesterday. I didn't get a thing on a clip. Today is Friday, and uh, I'm doing things. People are on the phone. Uh, yo, fellow, left a long message about the snow in Philly. Something wrong with the plane. Just phone. All right, it's Friday. I don't know how we should be yesterday. How was future? Take care of yourself. Get by future. Take care of yourself. Take care That's what of yourself. Was saying to me. Okay, future says the past. Hello, future. The past. Says hello to you. Welcome, take care of you. Uh, Je- yeah, jeans of Vermont. There's a crust on the snow. It's hard to ski in the woods. Jean trip on the stairs. They're gone in Olympia. What? Oh. I need to know. Okay, bye for future. Hey, Future, that's the past. I can't hear you. Hey, Future, did you cut out? Um, <laughs> yeah, what a, how do you make soy sauce? Andrew figures it out. <laughs> Am I awake, Future? <laughs> it's Sunday, bye, Future. Hey, Future, it's us the past. Oh, Future, hi. <laughs> We're doing some crazy color stuff. I guess. Whoa! whoa. Hi, y'all. Do that face again. (laughs) (laughs) Look at Stone, bitch. Bye, future. (laughs) Hey, future. It's us, the past. Fuck you, future. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> future! Fuck you! Yeah. <laughs> oh no! It's Tuesday, Andrew's eating pizza rolls and sandwiches. Oh my gosh. We're making the rolls. Bye, Future. Bye. Hey, Future, that's the past. Park Del Taco. Yeah, not that sure? great. Not that great. I mean, my church is Del Taco. Hey, After I get the vaccine, we're going to go to every fast uh, food restaurant in town. Maybe every other restaurant, too. Hey, future, it's us the past. Hey. Hey. Hello, future. I'm on the phone, and it's ready. Um, James gonna, is not going to get James branded today. Do, yeah, not today, but someday. On the program, right, better. James? We talked what? to Ashley. James wears leather every day. Uh-huh. Dead cows on the chest. Uh, bye, Please. future. Thank you, cows. Bye, future. Hey, future, that's the past. Oh, hi, past. I'm eating a donut. I just watched the Tom and Jerry movie. Racist cartoons. It's Friday. Oh, we made talk cartoons. crowd. Bye, future. future. Hey, future, it's us, the uh, past. Oh, hi, hi past. past. How are you? Hi, future. Uh, Saturday, yo, folks, uh, moving, looking at pizzas, talking about car crashes. Mark, I don't know, calling on the line. I'm eating more of that sauerkraut. I ate almost half of it. How you feeling? Yeah, almost half of uh, it. I'm still okay, about half of it. Must have gone half real fast. Future tells the past. Hello, future. I got a bunch you're of in the future. Watch out for that hockey stick. Yeah, I got this pen. Bird, say hi. Hi. It's uh, Sunday. I made it all the way around back in here. Double masks. Okay, bye, future. Hey, future says the. Hello, future. Uh, Mike's cutting out. Mike's cutting out. Uh, do you get an XLR cable yet? Uh, Jim's eating the nacho Doritos. 
Yeah, Kenny's mic super sucks. My mic is bad, and it's a talk show. Uh, it's Monday. 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 A future just the past. It's Tuesday. Laura got the vaccine because they had a, some kind of refrigeration problem, and I'm going to try to go after this. Did you uh, get get it? I future? did. The next day. First one, at least? Yes. Hey! Future says the past. What do you have to say, future Mark? Get the shot. Yeah, get it. I got it. it. I got the first one today. It didn't hurt. Arm doesn't even yeah. hurt. How you feeling, future? All right. Bye, future. Bye. Hey, future says the past. Hey, future. Hey. We got the we got the first thing of the vaccine. Are we tired? Normal tired, or is it just regular tired, or is this some kind of vaccine? Um, thing. My arm left the heart, kind of sure. Uh, don't, food, eat don't eat it. Yeah. My arm's gonna fall off. Yeah, me, my, my, my arm, my future, do you have your arm still? Well, hey, saying. future, it's us, the past. It's Friday. We talked to Andrew on the phone for a long time. Talking about, you know, still cancel culture and uh, exercise. Other than that, sauerkraut. Arm is mostly better. It's still slightly sore at the site. And like some kind of ghost stuff up there. Um, Dad's birthday. Are you doing that again? You alive? You make it? Your arm fall off? You make it I'm going to call that for work. Okay, bye, future. I don't know what ghost I was talking about. That was only minutes ago. About 20 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago. What ghosts are you referring to? Oh, it's called John Webster, though. I don't know if John wants to see himself on on the thing. Can you hear your voice when you when you're watching the show? This is Katie. Hello, this is Kenny on the TV show. Is John Webster available? Yeah, one second. It's Kenny. Hi, Kim. Hey, I'm, John. Uh, I'm uh, I'm doing I'm doing uh, da- dancing. I'm get exercise. Oh, that's good. Are you uh, feeling the burn? What? Yeah, you feeling the burn? You exercise burn? Uh, don't. Yeah. I, I want to dance. All right, you want to get off the phone and dance, huh? <laughs> I'm okay. doing my doing stretching and everything else. Dan- that, that's dance. good, John. You're 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 preoccupied then, huh? Uh huh. All right. Well, I'll talk to you later then. Okay. Okay. I'm bye, John. Yeah. Okay, bye, John. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, I don't know. I guess he was still talking, but I want to let him go. Dancing. John's dancing. That's a good thing to do, John. Good to dance. Good to keep it going. I kind of, I don't know where Mr. Ginsu is. Do you think it's, it's, uh, still thinking about calling Mr. Ginsu, but I'm going to leave him alone. Do the, uh, wait for you to call before I call. Uh, is it a game? What kind of game is it? But now we got uh, still 15 minutes or so. Let's see, where's the thing? This thing, this thing will tell us. We got about uh, I thought this thing says where, how long we've been screaming for. Where's the timer? Oh, there it is. So yeah, we got 15 minutes still. Uh, you know, the video thing, the, the phone thing. Now, now what are we gonna do? I get some of y'all. On the thing, but we were going to talk to them. Which, uh, I was going to call uh, Bird and say, "What are you doing? Where are you going?" 
maybe I should get a car for when when the vaccine time comes and I'm not gonna be riding the bus, but I might still ride the bus. I don't know. I don't know how effective the vaccine is gonna be. They say 95% effective, but I've been playing this game where, uh, like, so you have to fight an enemy. I've been playing Mother 3, which is like Earthbound, if you're aware. And on that game, you're uh, fighting these enemies, and they have a pickup rate. So their pickup rate is 3%. And so you have to keep fighting these enemies until you get your, your item that you're looking for. And... You fight every time you fight an enemy, you have a three percent chance of getting the item, and you fight the enemies, and then eventually you get the item. But it only takes maybe you know an hour or so. So it seems like a hundred times. So like, if you have a five percent, if there's only if there's a five percent still chance of getting the virus, then you're gonna be going out there a hundred times then you're going to get it. But I guess you have to be like directly affected by it a hundred times. So it's not the same. The math, math isn't the same. Plus I'm be wearing a mask still. So that's supposed to lower it even more. So like that's 90% too. Masks. I heard, I heard they're telling, telling me that double masks 90%. Glasses are 30%. And the vaccine's 95%. So what is that? That That's like very low after all the, after all that stuff. But still. There's other things, I guess. There's like other things that I'm not that are out there in the world, or people are just you know, I'm like, ooh, people breathing. Um, yeah. So, how many percents are there? So I don't know. Go about go out, go out, live a regular life, or uh, is that how many percents of cleanliness are we gonna get down to before? We start doing things like I don't know what the percentage of anything else ever was. And I'm not worried about it now. Maybe I don't know if I'm worried about it or what. I'm gonna stop telling me doing things from the news or something. I guess uh, it's gonna keep going until we have more of a rate, and then I'm gonna head out and uh, maybe I'm gonna go out and just uh, see other. Like, is it is it a uh, moral to go to people's houses who are we're both vaccinated, I guess. But uh, I've heard that um, most people are still just going out and doing re- regular things anyway. So maybe maybe we'll do that. Um, am I like holding it up for the program or or for myself or what? Who am I? Who am I trying to save the world? It's hard to tell. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of anything that I've been seeing out there been going through the capitol building somebody's putting cones out still i don't know what's going on there's this like weird building at the capitol that like when you're going through the uh like it's not on the capitol side it's on the other side of the capitol campus it's like by these like um by those statues and the flags and stuff and then you're going and then there's these stairs and there's like a building that all the building is is stairs that go down to the next level of outside. And there's a bunch of outside stairs. And then there's one set of inside stairs that don't seem to go anywhere else. So there's this building and all it is is like enclosing a space that's in the stairs. So it's like you have to walk there. To get there, you have to be outside for a long time. Like there's no way to get a, bring a vehicle uh, like a motor vehicle up to that spot like you can't drive a car actually i have seen cars driving through there which i, I saw like the cop cars driving through that zone which is dangerous because it's uh where people walk so it's like whoa they were going pretty slowly but still i was surprised i was like whoa they're blah, 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 i guess like they didn't want to get out and patrol the zone in there on, on foot or on a bike or something i bike through there they wanted to drive through there, and I guess maybe there's like barely enough room on that walkway for a car, but there's lots of spots where it's not, and you could, it seems like you could get stuck on a dead end with the car where you're, like, there's either stairs or, like, a smaller ramp where you can't really get through, and then you seem kind of stuck at that point. I don't know about what they're doing. Maybe they have a plan. Maybe they have a planned, uh, like, little car route so they go drive through there once in a while, but uh, mostly it's supposed to be no cars, and then there's a spot in the middle 
where all the uh, all the stairs on the inside. So when you're gonna walk up there, so then you go down the stairs, go out there. But I think it might be a, some kind of secret zone there, or maybe that's where like is that where they keep the rakes and the lawnmowers or something? I don't know what that little zone is. One time, a few weeks ago, it was making a scary alarm sound like there was an emergency like it was when beep beep and it seems like there was a problem where i was like uh oh is this like the nuclear alarm is this the virus has finally taken over society and like society is over and it's uh like uh anarchy I was going to say, like, what do you call, what do you call when the, there's no <laughs> there's no more laws? But really, is there laws at all? It is kind of anarchy already, and we're, we're all just agreeing to follow the law. I guess at any point, if, if we all collectively agree to stop uh, obeying our culture and society's rules, there's no there's no way to stop it all. But we're all doing it anyway. So I think if, if they, like, declared, like, who's going to be like, they're be like, Okay, everybody, government's over, there is no laws. I don't think it would do much, because at one point, there was no laws, and we made laws, and now we're in our, so where, we're, where we're at. So, like, in the beginning of history, no laws. Now, lots of laws, and it came from nothing, and it came back up to something. So, I think if, if it all, if, if the government just, like, suddenly said no laws, then there would be... Just like this, like if the federal government in Washington State, if the if the if the U.S. government was like, hey, no laws, then I think it would be like Washington State, or you know, even like the city or something would be like, okay, city laws. We're we're just like downsizing. So maybe we're gonna be uh, like that's like secession, basically. I think that's what would happen. Like, who's gonna start doing? crazy stuff like people are still going to go make the electricity or something because we're still pretty i mean everybody's bound by electricity like in texas and if you don't have electricity then what are you going to do in your life it's hard to like survive so they're like oh no more laws like Pew! power goes out everybody gets crazy all the food there's no food food chains and stuff uh distribution systems there's all that stuff so everybody's kind of dependent on that thing anyway so i don't think anything could happen uh It'd be a lot of everybody would be gone. I guess people are following the people follow their own rules anyway. I don't know, they're not, nobody's doing like the uh, what the government tells them to. If you want to wear the masks and you do wear them because you think it's a good idea and people don't want to do it, they're not just not doing it. I guess they're not allowed in the stores or anything. But in Texas, they're making people wear them still when you go to the place. Uh. Like when you go to like Target and Walmart and stuff, they still have to wear them, even though the government didn't make them do it. But uh, so I was going like through one day, and I had to go. I was going to work. There, that building, the mysterious like weird building, was making a scary sound. And it seems like when the scary sounds, you should go away from them, or you're supposed to go to them. You're trying to sit, you're trying to be a hero. Or you're trying to run away. It's hard to know what. Like probably, probably most of the time you're not you're not gonna help, and if you're gonna be there, it's gonna be like some kind of cooks in the kitchen, like you don't know what's going on, you can't do anything anyway situation. So maybe the right thing to do is get away, but you want to be like you want to you're uh, maybe you're smart. You're like I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna help somebody today. Like I always wanted to help people. I thought like when I saw this lady fall down. And uh, somebody told me this is their favorite story. They were heard the thing, but well, I was going down the street like a couple of years ago, maybe a year and a half ago, and I did see like a woman who was incapacitated looking. I was like, "Here's my chance to help somebody." So I went up there, but then by the time I had gotten there, there were several blocks away. That other people were already there and helping them out, and then I avoided them. I didn't do anything about it. So maybe I am helping people by just not. Maybe you could be like. Every day that you stay home and not go anywhere, then you're the hero. That's what they've been saying. They were, or they kind of drop the hero thing. For a while, they were like, hey, you staying home, you're a hero. But now, 
So I was like, okay, I'm here. But I wanted to be a real hero, go help this woman who's on the ground. But by the time I had gotten there, other people did it, and I didn't get to be a hero. And I was like, well, I thought I was going to be a hero today, but I didn't get to do it. They're the hero. Somebody else got to be the hero. But I wouldn't have known what to do anyway. I'd have been up there and be like, uh, are you okay? Uh, I, don't even, <laughs> I don't even have a phone. Uh, hey, other people helped me, and then I would run away anyway. So what, 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 what would I have done? I would have probably been like less of a hero than I even thought instead of being like, oh, I did the right thing. I went away instead of going up there and letting myself down. But that was like an alarm that you see there. So when you hear alarm, you're going to go run away or you're going to go towards it. I went towards it, but not because I was going to do anything about it. It was because I had to go by there anyway. And I went by and I was like, oh, there's an alarm. That's kind of freaky. And then I just kept going. I'm like, maybe, maybe that's a bomb alert because this is a government building. But it wasn't a bomb alert. It wasn't, uh, I mean, as far as I know, it wasn't anything. It was probably nothing. Most alarms are nothing until there's something. Like fire drills. I've been in a lot of fire drills as a child. And when I was in school, they were building construction on the place. So there's fire drills, like, often, like, weekly. And I, there weren't even fire drills. There was just, like, trips in the system about once a week. And then we would have to go outside, do all this stuff. Um, now there's fire drill, so I've never been in a emergency situation, but I've been in a lot of drills. And uh, even my home has had fire alarms. They were going off actually quite a bit, but I don't know if we changed anything. There was like the smoke detector in the hall that was going off like all the time. Maybe somebody changed it and I'm not even aware of it, but it seemed like it was happening like daily almost. But now I don't remember the last time the smoke alarm went off. I don't know something got changed. Is people were just like not smoking. We're not making so much smoky food. And anyone was doing something. Um, but it was going off all the time. And we would just turn it off. And it was never a problem. Well, one time it was. I don't know if the smoke alarm went off though. One time I burned my food. Like I caught it on fire. Because I was cooking just like chicken nuggets in the oven. And I set the oven to broil instead of bake. So you set the temperature and you go to the bake to broil. So one flick of the wrist the wrong way, they're both B words. And then you have a fire. So then I went and set the timer. I usually, I don't know, turn on the oven, go out there, cook the food. I'm putting the, I'm watching TV at the same time. So I'm putting the food in the oven. I'm not like sitting there and looking at it. I'm going to go and use the timer. So I go set the timer. And then I go back to the other room and watch TV while the timer's going. And then then there was a fire. <laughs> My chicken nugget caught on fire, like actual fire. And then I don't, I don't, I think that somebody saw it. I don't even think that the alarm went off on that point. And that was the one that was going off like quite a bit. So there's like so many smoke alarms. And then I don't, I don't know if that smoke alarm went off or not or if it was somebody caught it. I was like, hey, there's a fire. Like the one time there actually was a fire. But it turned out to be just fine. Fire, I guess fire, I don't know. fires are bad, but maybe they're not the worst thing ever. People have fires inside their, inside of buildings all the time. Like lots of those kitchens, you see people cooking food. And then they're doing like flambe, which is like when you put alcohol in the thing and catch it on big fire. And that's inside a building. And lots of kitchens are like in the middle of the building or like up on like maybe uh, skyscrapers and stuff. And they never end up causing fires or anything either. So fire, I mean, fires are scary, but maybe they're... Not like, oh, the fire, it's over, everything's over. But uh, we start, like, putting it out. And then we put it out, everything was fine. And I don't know if the smoke alarm actually did anything at that point. So the alarms could be doing something. Now I'm waiting for the alarm to go off or something. But uh, I don't know. The day I had to get the vaccine on Tuesday, I set an alarm clock. I did go to bed early on purpose so I could wake up early. But I still ended up waking up about 15 minutes before the alarm. And then I don't even know if it ever went off. I haven't used an alarm clock in a long time because I don't have any reason to wake up early. But I did on that day. But I don't remember my alarm clock even going off. And if it did, it turned itself off. Uh, I used to have to use the alarm clock almost every day. But now, not anymore. No more alarm clocks for me. Now I'm a regular sleeper. That's good. That's good feeling kind of. Well, I don't know if I'm setting my sleep schedule up very well. I should have done it. I had the chance. I woke up early on that one day to get the vaccine, but then ever since then, I would just 
flipped it back and now I'm back to the one I was at before. But maybe I did, one day wasn't enough. I had to like start waking up early and doing the thing anyway. But then I'm just going to move my nighttime activities to the daytime. I mean, what's the difference? I'm going to be going out some more. I'm not going to like go walk around, I guess, any more in the daytime than the nighttime. In the nighttime, I can stay inside and watch TV and read the book and not feel like I'm missing out on the world. It's like, oh, it's sunny. you got to go outside. So if I sleep through that part of the day and then I don't feel bad about being an indoor person. Uh, but now all the seasons are coming up and the daylight savings time, the bad one to me is coming up where it's like more more day than night and I want nighttime to start faster because I want to be done. Like I I work until like 8 o'clock and then when the, uh, when the sun goes down, after eight o'clock, then I saw a sun, then I have to do something about it, and I don't like that. I want to be, I want it to be over by the time I'm done, and so I'm like, well, it's night time. I, I did my day. Now it's night time, and it's over. I can go home and, uh, you know, stay inside. Now I gotta have an hour where I'm like, well, gotta go, uh, be a society member again, and I don't want to have to be a society member. I'm gonna be a indoor regular person. It's maybe this whole. Thing I kind of want to be an indoor regular person, but now it's going to be over soon. So maybe I should be uh, appreciative of this time of laziness. Well, we made it. Here's the credits. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks, uh, John Webster. It's Friday. We're on TC TV Channel 22, 1130 and 2 a.m. Check out YouTube, YHW1 live stream. Yeah. 3604 calling message, get on TV. What is your com? I don't know, this tape's going for a long time. Faulty Fridays, thank you. PC TV, LeBebe, Jordy Fabulous, Orca Books, Four Star Video, Mark Guitar Player, Rebecca, Mountain Board Northwest, Stop the Spot of Thurston County, Washington State, USA, thank you. And viewers, it's you, you're watching, thank you. Take care of yourself. Hey, John, call me. Hell yeah, dog! Bye!